Welcome to the latest cancer on the internet, Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, or PUBG as it's called. Why do I call it cancer? Well, maybe it's because it is a cancerous kind of game. A game where trolling, griefing, all those things pretty much happen as a given. I mean, there's a rule of a code of conduct, but I imagine a lot of people don't give a flying fuck about it, to be honest. And are just gonna do whatever the hell they want to do. So anyway, I am just going to keep going ahead and probably just stop at the shooting range even though there's dozens of people jumping out of the plane. The idea is to try and survive for as long as possible, so let's see how far I can go. But anyway, I'm going to go for the shooting range. I know it's kind of a foolish idea to do so because there's probably going to be quite a few people going there and it's a fairly open area, so I might just end up dead very quickly. Bad. It's a survival game. You you have this area, this island. Uh, I imagine there. I think there's the 1.0 test version right now, the live version. That's not yet live. Uh, that has a desert map, if I'm not mistaken. At any rate, for a moment, this is all that there is in the game, and uh, at least in live uh, version. Not completely finished. Not fully live yet. Soon will be. All right. Okay, let's see what we get at the shooting range. Well, that's actually a good shotgun right there. Close that door. So this game is so big, in China in particular, <laughs> that it's significantly altered the Steam hardware uh, survey statistics. It's insane how big of an impact this game has had uh, on the industry as a whole just through that. Keep on mind just how big it is to have the Steam hardware survey statistics. And it's made China the dominant country on the Steam market. Though that means the hardware surveys is far less accurate for the gaming industry as a whole. Because guess what? A lot of games are not available in China. So that's going to cause a lot of problems. Wait, oh, are they AMD users, the Linux users, the Mac users? Mac users to a lesser extent, but AMD and uh, Linux users? Oh, yes. Pissed off. Now, this is the problem when you have fanboys of anything really because Nvidia has gone up Windows has gone up though it's Windows 7 that's gone up by quite a bit and uh, well Intel has gone up as well CPUs CPUs Nvidia gone up on GPUs Intel gone up on CPUs it's interesting I mean most th there's very few people I give a fuck about in uh, about <laughs> Uh, Linux, there's very few people that give a fuck about AMD these days, to be honest. You know, people talk about competition. Eh, to be honest, I'm not particularly worried about the market uh, place. At least not right now. It's like, oh, people talk about GPU competition and how that's healthy for people. Sure, I, I get the argument. I get the point. But it uh, doesn't necessarily matter. Not for the moment, at least. Not to the current status quo between consoles and PC in the sense... As long as AMD is the company making all the chips for PS for the PlayStations and Xboxes, we'll be fine. And N Nvidia has the dominance on PC, we'll be fine. Because it kind of balances itself out, really. The games, because of Nvidia's dominance on PC, it means that games will be optimized for Nvidia hardware on PC. But also, they'll be optimized for AMD hardware because of the chips, which are not similar from the ones currently used on uh, on PC so let's see I am in the area I'm trying to find a backpack actually <laughs> there's plenty of useful stuff not so useful if you don't actually have anything to carry it in well a car
Okay. What I need is a scope. I don't hear anyone. I imagine I would have heard someone. Let me go further ahead. Bit of a foolish idea, I get, I guess, but I don't think there is anything here actually. No, probably not. Really need a backpack. Plenty of useful stuff here, but <laughs> if you don't have anything to carry it, then it's kind of pointless, isn't it? But I do have practically a sniper rifle. Just need a scope for it. 4x, 8x, all that. And a good shotgun, semi-auto shotgun, or even, no, it's not. There are fully automatic shotguns available out there in the world, believe it or not. I think, what, the AA-12 or something like that is fully automatic. Hey, want an automatic shotgun? Go crazy. Damn. Nice. 12 gauge. Um, oh, there's plenty of ammo. Let me just ditch some of it, I guess. No, not that. I suppose I'm at the limit. I'm fine with that idea, though. Okay, what I really don't have is any kind of armor. If I can get in a vehicle, find a vehicle, that would be nice. Doubt I'll find one at the shooting range, though. That's workable. Seems, um... The game's design is decidedly very, um... Eastern European type. Really. It, which is interesting because it seems to me that the main developer behind the game, the main designer behind the game is Irish. Um, and this game was made by a bunch of Asians. Most of the developers, at least based on what I know, most of the people actually working on the game were and are st still are because the game isn't fully finished. Uh, still are Asians. What could I possibly throw away here? Well, nothing to throw away, Shane. Carrying a lot of shit. Not gonna use that uh, rifle until I get everything that I need for it. A scope <laughs> would be very, very nice indeed. Don't see the door being opened there. It's useful to keep track of such details. Okay, let me open the door. Look out the window and no one in there by the looks of it. Close the door. Backpack. Exactly what I needed. Good. Oh, this is actually open. So someone was here. Earlier. What about the other houses? It is actually open. But not this one. There's no car here. Alright, so that one was open. One should be wary of the, even if the doors are closed, because someone might be setting a trap for you as a player.
The problem with the red dot sight is that it's not really good for this kind of weapon. It's good for a shotgun. Alright, so... Whoever was there drove off. Alright, level one. So if there is someone there, they'll actually have to, uh... Okay, uh, should I get the AKM? Probably not, if I'm honest here. 12 gauge. I mean, I don't even have ammo for it, so what's the point? Okay. Game uh, area still shrinking. If you get caught outside of the blue area, then you start taking damage. It's not a huge amount, at least not initially, but it does get worse and worse. So anyway, I've taken all I could, all I needed. Uh, just because that guy in the car drove off doesn't mean that this area is safe, by the way. Okay, still... S what the... All right. Okay. Safe. Someone busted this door open. By the looks of it. Level one. I don't think there's anyone here. There's a motorcycle in there. Could run, I suppose, make a run for it. Let me just check the house. Whoever was here really left a mess of things. Clear, 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 clear. And they were in a hurry as well. You wouldn't leave a frag grenade. Okay, um, where should I go? I guess here would do gonna start shrinking the problem isn't right now well uh, would be nice to actually get some stuff that I could use. I mean, don't get me wrong, the things I've gotten so far are pretty damn useful. But I need a scope. Well, come on, what?
clear, clear. Safe. Would be nice to get some gas, I suppose. You know, use it on the bike, but it's got enough gas to last me a while. Alright, so time to go by that trail. I just keep following in someone else's footsteps, don't I? Someone took this shit as well. Took whatever was useful. I need a scope. Sure, at your range I could dominate anyone with this. Um, shotgun Verti free people alive, fine. But at anything longer range? Eh, that's a different story. I think I may have heard something. Not entirely certain. <laughs> there is the meme. There is a car here. Why is it the meme? Well, I'll explain it in just a second once I get in it. Someone's here. If there isn't someone here, I'll be damned. I very much doubt this Dacia, which is a Romanian car brand, was just parked, wasn't just parked by someone right there. Seems. Seems a bit like someone opened this. Clear, clear. But why would you abandon the Dacia? So Dacia is a Romanian car brand, right? Okay, that and that particular model of the Dacia is uh, come.
Did this guy just commit suicide? Well, there's only one way up here anyway. Fucking hell. So many of us right here in this entire, this bloody building, really, that, that was, holy hell. That, well, that's what's enjoyable about this title. That tension. You never know what's gonna happen, how you're gonna die. But it's probably gonna be something along those lines. <clears throat> it was a bit of a clusterfuck situation to be honest right there. I mean, how many people? Four? Three? Four? Something along those lines. He can handle full auto quite well, recoil wise at least. Fly, my precious fly. <laughs> what are they going for? Uh, the Jorg uh, Gopal? I mean, it's the largest area in the game, so probably. Well, the military base is also fairly large. Me, I'm gonna go for Melta. And depending on the luck with the zone, might even go for the power plant itself. We'll see. Hopefully not too many people are here. I, you can be very reckless and just rush for some of the areas. That's a thing, that's an option, certainly. Go for uh, a city or the uh, practice, you know, the shooting range or anything, or something like that, something along those lines. It's all down to your choice. I don't see anyone checking, checking, checking. So I've got this entire town to myself. Unless I actually hear someone, I'm gonna go full speed here. Just get this much shit as possible. <coughs> what the fuck? Parachute broke a bit early. As you can see, a uh, lot of people are already dead. Nice noise. Might as well attract a whole horde to my location. The three people left already. That's uh, it's going fast for them. Very fast. 82. Well, I did see a lot of people going from the for the city, so it's not surprising, I suppose.
not taking the crossbow. I mean, it's useful if, if you want to keep your presence hidden, I guess. Motorcycle helmet. Fry grenade, flash hider. This game can be a lot of fun playing with other people, friends, you know, just the memes that can be had here. It's all about the memes. I wonder if there is a Dacia in here. Uh, the communist era Dacia. That they they don't look like that anymore. They've modernized and going for gone for a more modern look. But God, those old school Dacias. Why the fuck are they even in here? <laughs> okay, that's the plane. I can't actually see. Wait, there's the police vest. To be fair, I hope that it didn't drop it close to me. I would rather continue looting in fucking peace. And if they did drop the loot, the, the plane cargo near me, that just means it's a massive target for everyone else. Could possibly get to it before other people, but... It's always, it's a high risk with that. You're really taking a huge gamble with that. Let's go to the diner. Get a nice coat. Med kit. Ballistic mask. And there's backpacks there, but that's not what I'm after here. Another coat. Shotgun choke. To X scope can be useful. Just need an assault rifle to pair it with, which I'm guessing I won't find. Never mind. No, I won't use the holographic sight. If I find this, if I find the semi-auto shotgun, sure. You know the problem with uh, with this particular rifle is the recoil is absolute shite. It's not actually doing as much damage as you would necessarily expect it should. An AKM is using a higher caliber, right? So it should do more damage, better penetration. All that. In fact, the Russian military. That's something I checked. The Russian military still has these generally for urban com for the purpose of urban combat, so because or because you need something to penetrate uh concrete. And and this rifle does that. Not in this game though. I would fire, but I don't want to give away my position. I think the M14, as much as I hate to admit this, uh, is probably the better gun. Just because it's more accurate, yeah, going to burst. Mini 14. Mm, f lower firing rate. It's a pretty small rifle. Um, it's 
semi-autocarbine. 57 people alive. Am I safe? Yeah, safe perfectly fine. For now. Let's see how long that lasts. Probably gonna spend most of this match here, looting as much as I can. There's no reason for me to move out yet. There will be eventually, just not now. The more the area contracts, though, the more... Mmm, no. I will take the ammo, though. In case I find an actual shotgun to use it with. Doesn't seem like anyone's bothering with this area. They all jump down ahead. Well, <laughs> or behind, I guess. Nope. Gas tank, crowbar. I'll take crowbar. Why not? Nope. Keeping in mind, the pistol that I have, the revolver that I have, uses the same ammo as the assault rifle. Nope. Oh. Uh, let's see. No. It's the M16 A4. Would like a vehicle, thank you very much. I'm close enough to the, z uh, the middle of the zone, I guess I should go to the farm next. Should be. There's just a plane, not the car. Well, I'll check it out. Let's see where it drops it. There we go. Is that even safe? <laughs> no. Probably not even remotely, so. It's too far away for me to make it unfitted in a reasonable time. If I had a vehicle, I could rush it for it, but I'd probably be walking into the middle of an ambush. But I don't have a vehicle, so I'm not even going to bother. And I know for a fact that there's plenty of people that went to the military base. That's the thing, the people that drop later, they that's where they rushed for. To get the high-level equipment there. Risk-reward. Risk-reward. Me. I choose the coward's path. Keeps you... Keeps me alive. Yeah. Gear here isn't the best though. The power plant could have some stuff. Could. The farm probably certainly does. Some higher level gear. Armor, helmet, all that. Oh, time to make my way there. I could stay around here for a while, but eventually I need to leave. Game is not gonna contract on around this area. 
if it would. I've seen the game generally contract, uh, you know, go around small, uh, you know, open areas. Okay. Pick up bandage. No. There we go. Need a better backpack, to be fair. Artillery. Time to run. Hopefully I get shot in the face the moment I approach the farm. I fully expect that to happen eventually. Getting shot in the face. Okay, time to move. Doubt that vehicle is working. No, I don't think it is. It's probably a rust bucket. Yeah, it's even broken down, isn't it? Yep. You get good at spotting things from a distance in this game. Or else you don't live long. Players, all that. It's very, I guess, realistic in a sense, because actual modern warfare takes place in, in long long distances, lot much longer distances than people might think. Tempting, uh, very tempting even, but I'm not gonna take it. I mean, it, I could, don't get me wrong, but what's the point? I'm already close enough to the center, I just make a lot of noise and alert everyone to my presence. Going by foot at this stage is the smarter decision for me. Okay, game area is shrinking. Nothing. You hear that? Buggy. Probably some player somewhere. Police vest level two. Level one. No, no, no. Was someone here? No. The ammo is still here, actually. Don't want to try my luck. I'm still safe. There's 24 people alive. Game area is contracting. I'll go to a building in the farm and stay there game ready to gank someone. In case, you know, happens. The farm is probably going to be close enough to the center that I'll be able to... Alright. Yeah, it's a uh, farm. It's actually beyond the farm. Alright, fair enough. Two minutes until that area c starts contracting. Yeah, 
That guy doesn't know where he's going, it does he? It's a bit of a foolish move to go with the buggy right in the middle of the area where there's gonna be 22 people heading to. Plane incoming. Let's see where this drops. If it drops. Outside the area. I'm not particularly keen on heading for that. You can sprint while, uh, while being prone. People will still hear you, by the way, if you're prone. It's really just a ca case of your profile. People can notice you fairly easily when you're crouched. Not so much when you're prone. Especially not in the grass, not in the shadows, all that. Just things to consider. Camo! If you can get the character in camo, an actual camo, I'm just gonna get rid of this nonsense. And if you can get if you can get uh, your character into actual military camo, that could make you pretty much invisible while crouching, uh, while proning. Because that's actually what military camouflage is supposed to do, hide you, you know, among the environment, make you difficult to detect. Alright, I'll go through this door. Doesn't seem as if someone was here. Unless the door is open. Don't see any doors open. Not inside, not, out, not towards outside. So I gotta... Still gotta be paranoid though. Uh, let me go for the black. Because people can set a nice ambush for you. But not in this case. Alright, area, game area is getting smaller. The farm is... Well... Someone's shooting up ahead. Don't know towards. But that means for me, be damn fucking careful. Someone was here. They may not have taken the Uzi, but someone was clearly here. Don't leave level 1 backpacks like that. Alright. Okay. Two minutes. Two minutes. More than enough time, I feel. I don't have a choice. If I want to stay alive, I need to run. And yes, this does increase my visibility. Yes, this does make me vulnerable. Come and get me. Come on. Try our luck. 13 people left. Oh, shit. There's a cluster of buildings that are going to be in the next area. I'm going to try and f get in one of them quickly. It depends next where it gets smaller. All right, close enough that I can uh, prone with enough time left. Twelve people left. All 
Alright, drinking the Red Bull. Extra health. That's why I did it. Just in case. Here comes the blue wall of death, the blue screen of death. I'll be fine. Not fully inside that yet, but I will be by the time it actually hits. There we go. Yeah, I'm in the thing. 12 people still alive, but I'm fine for a moment. I'll go to that building. The tower right there. Could actually climb up and just try and snipe people. <laughs> with an AKM. <laughs> Got luck with that. You know, AKs are reliable as all hell. No denying that aspect. Holy shit. Um, no denying that aspect. Guess I have no choice but to do this. Small and smaller area. I think it's gonna be here that all of it will be decided. I don't even dare crouch anymore. Unless I'm. Please don't be in content. <laughs> Drop this. If they dropped it on my head, it would be very fucking annoying, I can tell you that. It's like, hey, here's a massive target right next to your head. Will people go for that or will they go for your head? There, are, There's people up ahead. One minute available. Damn it. I don't have a choice. I need to run. There's a shed there. I'll hide in the shed. <coughs> <coughs> Right into the middle of an ambush. Well, top 10 at the very least. <laughs> Made it through all of that. <laughs> well, uh, that's uh, it. Costin here on Serious Gaming signing out. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video.